What is up you guys? Happy Monday. It's Susan Morad right back here on Clever News. And Max Eric doesn't seem to be taking his breakup with Demi Lovato all too well. As many fans believe he's picking right back up on his everlasting quest to win Selena Gomez over. While Demi Lovato appears to be handling the aftermath of her abrupt split with Max Eric incredibly well, Max Eric, well, not so much. Max was photographed back in Los Angeles this past weekend after returning home from filming his movie Southern Gospel in Atlanta over the past few months. As TMZ shared photos of Max looking somber while sitting on the exact beach in Malibu where he proposed to Demi back in July. According to the outlet and as seen in video footage on their site captured by TMZ's paparazzi photographers, Max was sitting by himself on the beach for quite some time until he got up to walk around before sitting back down in a sulking manner. Fans didn't exactly rush to share their sympathy for Max when stumbling upon these beach photos, however as many accused him of calling the paparazzi on himself. One user wrote, Not Max Eric going to the beach where he proposed and sitting there sobbing at the ocean. Sir, who is this performance for? Another user wrote, He probably hired a photographer or paid a friend. As well as, Max Eric really called paparazzi to follow him to the beach where he proposed to Demi just so he can fake cry. Other fans even began sharing screenshots of Max seemingly responding to some fans in his DMs, telling people to drag Demi when they get the chance, with the caption, Max Eric telling his Instagram group chats to drag a woman for something she didn't do so it causes upset, stress and hate towards teenagers and young adult fans and also calling TMZ to take pics of him fake crying on a beach so he looks innocent. It's so disgusting. Max's beach visit comes just hours after he reportedly pleaded with paparazzi for Demi's fans to quote, stop bullying him over the breakup and to respect him and Demi as human beings, pleading for fans to quote, let us make our art, make our music. But this wasn't the most surprising move Max made over the weekend. All thanks to many Selena Gomez fans who were waving their red flags after noticing that Max had re-followed Selena on Instagram. This news wouldn't come as much of a shock had Max not professed his love for Selena on social media in the months leading up to the start of his relationship with Demi. One potential cause of Max and Demi's split was his controversial past with leaving thirst trap comments on many female artists' Instagram posts, including Ariana Grande, Madison Beer, Miley Cyrus, and most notably Selena Gomez. Shortly after Max and Demi got engaged, fans showed support for Demi by attempting to expose many of Max Max's past live streams and comments that expressed his infatuation for Selena, including one tweet that compared Demi to Selena, saying, quote, Ha ha ha, Selena and Demi are cute together. But boy, if you think Demi is prettier, you're wrong. At the time, Demi was quick to defend Max, saying that the posts were fake and doctored. However, it seems the admiration Max had for Selena hasn't changed. Reason being, fans recorded footage of Max during his live stream over the weekend, jamming out to Selena and Blackpink's new song, Ice Cream. What a good song. Okay, so that's pretty innocent for the most part, but others were quick to point out that Max had re-followed Selena on Instagram, and it hasn't even been a month since he and Demi called it quits. He also seems to be airing out his relationship issues with actual Selena Gomez stands, as screenshots reveal that he's been partaking in Instagram DM groups with some of her fans, sharing screenshots of Selena's breakup lyrics to her song, Lose You To Love Me. While it appears that some Selenators are entertaining whatever Max is trying to accomplish, others refuse to accept it, saying that he's just trying to gain attention. One user said, quote, Y'all are giving him exactly what he wanted. Attention, why is this news? Another fan commented, I don't understand how some Selenators support him. He's clearly obsessed and trying to get clout. Do not follow him or support him. And this person refuses to fall for Max's alleged attempt at pitting two artists against each other, writing, He wanted to begin a war between Cell and D. I hope they don't fall into this trap. Damn this guy. From what it seems, Demi most likely won't be responding to Max's recent social media activity. But I think we can all agree that it's probably for the better. And now would probably be a really good time to mention that no matter how you feel about Max or Max and Demi's past relationship or any of the activity that's been happening on social media, it is never okay to bully someone. So please be very careful when you choose your words when you're online. And for even more details on the aftermath of Demi and Max's split, you can click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all of your thoughts on Max's recent antics in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on Instagram at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.